Mr. Speaker, I rise today to voice my strong opposition to the President's nuclear agreement with Iran. It is not good for America or her allies. The administration would have us believe that the only alternative to this deal is war. Well, those of us saying this is a bad deal are not advocating for war. We are advocating for a better deal, one that effectively prevents Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon now, 15 years from now, and into the future. Instead of preventing a nuclear weapon capable Iran, this deal allows Iran to keep its nuclear infrastructure, gives Iran billions of dollars in sanctions relief to promote terrorism and instability throughout the region, does not allow for any time anywhere inspections, lifts the arms embargo, allows Iran to acquire intercontinental ballistic missiles, and does nothing, nothing to free the four American hostages being held by Iran. Quite simply, this is a bad deal that aims to solidify a legacy rather than prevent a nuclear weapon capable state sponsor of terrorism. I urge my colleagues to reject this deal. I yield back. General, time's expired.